some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at the Department of Social Services building in Corum, New York, with Long Island Audit, Sean Paul Reyes. Because apparently people have told him that this place is uh, corrupt and he decides to go in there and film. Completely ignoring this fact that there are signs in the building that expressly state that you cannot film or photograph anything inside the building. Because you know what? There's sensitive information in there, you bloody moron. The officials in there hold their ground on the issue, and he is forced to walk out. But afterwards, he's on the sidewalk just handing money out to people because you know what? He says such a kind heart. I mean, a whole lifetime of being nothing more than a criminal thug, and you think that uh, passing out money to people on the streets is going to win you brownie points. Hi. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're here today, as always, to peacefully exercise our First Amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas, to promote transparency and accountability within our government, and to ensure that our public servants recognize our rights and treat us with respect. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're just getting inside the Department of Social Services here. We are immediately greeted with our friendly reminders that they're always recording us. And of course, Sean, it's been explained to you over and over again that the purposes of those cameras are for security. They're not there to make a profit on YouTube. Unlike what you're doing, which is making a profit on YouTube. You can take that little argument uh, that you have right there, shine it up real nice, and stick that SOB sideways, and shove it up where the sun don't shine. Even though it always seems to be a problem when we record them, let's hope that's not the case here today. Multiple people have gotten many emails that this Department of Social Services here, first of all, has a sign that says photographs and video recordings are not allowed. Second of all, that... Well, Sean, I hate to call you a liar, but I'm going to do so here and now, because you know what? If there are emails, why haven't you shown them? I mean, if you're going to say something, at least have the proof to back it up with. They treat people very badly here and don't help people the way they should, so we're here to investigate that and see how they treat us here today. Some more friendly reminders that they're always recording us. Are you videotaping? Um, who are you, sir? Are you videotaping? You can't do that. What? Who are you, you can't sir? Videotape, yeah. Why would that be? Oh, the blue sign that says photographs. Yeah, no, that's just, just a sign, though. So you cannot be here, though. But why would that be? Because the county said no. Because the county says no. Yeah, but the county can't say whether someone can video record in public or not. I know new information with you goes in one ear and out the other, but it's been explained to you on numerous occasions that there are uh, public forum doctrines that state that there are certain places where you can't film, especially inside of government buildings, and that there are security reasons such as uh, private information that's being displayed. Now, that being said... Yeah, the county can't really tell you you can't film in public, but that's outside of this building, on the streets, on the sidewalks, or any place like that. Once you go inside one of these buildings, you have to follow the rules. And in this case, there are rules in that building because of the previous things I mentioned, because of security reasons, and because of private information. So, Sean, just get over yourself. No, they can't. They can't say whether someone can video record in public or not. You cannot be the tip in here. Just oh, I can. No, the, the, that's, a, that's a policy or a sign, but it doesn't trump the, the, the fact that I have the right to film in public. I have the right to gather content in public. Can so, I get your name? So what you're saying is that even if the county said you cannot do it, you want to break the rules of the place? Well, no. What I'm saying is that the rules that the county put in place mm -hmm. 
are unconstitutional, so that way they it's don't apply. The unconstitutional, yeah, correct. How, how so that you, means they don't apply. Know? They don't apply because I have a right to record in public. Or I have a right to record government officials. Are you do you work for the directly for the county, or you are a um, private agent, private uh, security company? Do you work directly for the no, county no, no, no. or a private security company? You're breaking the rules of the place. I'm trying to tell you the rules. Attention all clients in the lobby. This is DSS Security. We have a gentleman in the building who exercises his right to videotape. If you would not like yourself to be on video camera. Please uh, exit the building so he can finish doing his uh, video tape. <laughs> so, that would never, I've never had that happen before. This guy right here. I'm not, I'm not here for any of you. I'm here for them, and that's, and that's what they don't understand. Well, Sean, you are apparently a disruptive influence here, so uh, it's probably time for you to pack up and leave. And later on in the video, you say that you didn't see anybody leave after that announcement. Well, if you take a look at this part of the video, you'll see these two gentlemen right here behind the officer stand up and walk out. And there will be a couple others that I know in just a moment that do stand up and walk out with them. So, Sean, uh, that tells me two things. One, that you're a damn liar. And number two, that you're not very observant. And I wonder which one is more probable. But in this case, I think the more probable thing is that you are neither observant nor honest. I don't have to, sir. I'm not trying to. They're trying to escalate it. I'm not here for you, man. I'm here for them. See, look, he doesn't care. Why are you? Why are you doing this, man? Why are you doing this? You're trying to start something that doesn't need to be started. But no one's. But I'm not. But I'm next. I'm not next to anyone. I'm not gathering anybody's personal information. I'm not doing any of that. Well, now there's your reason to leave right there, Sean. He just explained it to you, and you're not going to listen because you're a hard-headed little sob. In addition, I do believe that you don't recognize the fact that cameras do have a zoom option in which people can and will use that to gain personal information in places like this. So, which means you can steal people's personal information and not be standing right next to them, you moron. Oh, wow. That's not my intention here. Well, which is crazy. Well, no, it's it's not it's not it's not about that. It's not about that. It's just it's just to promote you know transparency in our government. I've I've gotten a lot of complaints that people have been treated badly here and they're not getting the service you know by people. Yeah, you know what? That's what I've gotten. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Ask him what? Oh, you didn't say anything. <laughs> you, but you did. So you didn't. You can't say it to me. You can I'm say it to him. You can do whatever you want. Okay. But why why wouldn't you be man enough to say it to me? But why wouldn't you be but you're talking about me, so why wouldn't you be man enough to say something to my face? No, you can say whatever you want. You can say whatever you want, but what I'm saying is why wouldn't you be man enough to say it to my face? That's what I'm asking you. No, but you are because you're talking about me. Yeah, can I get your name? No. You work you work for the county, sir. You're a public servant. I'm not trying to. If anybody wants to be blurred out, they can be blurred out. It's not. It's not about exposing. Yeah, not you. You work for the government. Wait, you <laughs> How do you know that? Do you have a case? Do no, I have no. a case open? No, I'm. I'm here because. No, no, no. I'm just. I'm. No, no, no. I'm. It, again, if anybody wants their face blurred out, they can get it blurred out. But I'm here for the government because at the end so of the day, you, so would you blur out many people. Please? Anybody that doesn't want to, everybody that everybody that didn't want you that works that's a member of the public. Not that I have to, but because. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm a good guy. Uh, by what standards are you even a good guy? Because uh, your criminal record doesn't exactly say that you are a good guy. Uh, and the way you come into government buildings like this to intimidate, harass, belittle, bully everybody is not exactly making you out to be a good guy at all. So please use a another lie that would be more believable. I mean, you got to find something that can work with you. But it doesn't, 
I'm here to film the government because I've, I've received complaints that U.S. security, security guards here, and the Department of Social Services have not have not been treating people right. I've been getting Did complaints. You to the precinct because they got more complaints than us. Oh, I've been. Oh, trust me, I've been there plenty of times. Trust me, plenty of times I've been to the precincts. Every precinct what across the, the country I've been to. Court. I've been to court. Yep, I've been to court systems. I listen. It's not just about this office. It's about you know the government yeah, versus yeah, the people. Yeah. In general, you can go to the White House. The yeah, the White House. That would be a good one. You're speaking to right now? Who's that? The guy you're speaking to right now? Yeah. Who, what about him? He's a client. What about it? No. He, you remember what he? Asked? And if and if he wants his face blurry, no, cat? That's what I'm saying. When you ask him, when he asks you about him videotaping you, you know what he said? What? When you told him the reason why you're here? Because he said, he, well, he said that's crazy. God, that is not true. Okay, but that's his experience. I'm talking about there's other people that have experiences here, sir. And you believe them? Yeah, I mean, I've received multiple so pe multiple think, complaints that people aren't getting the services that they need you. here. You think they're not lying to you? So multiple people have told me that they're mm -hmm. not getting no, the I'm services saying, they need here, I'm and then one person told me that that's impossible. Lying. So you do the math. I'm asking. At this point, Sean, uh, really, you are going to need a lot more proof than what you say is true. Because you know what? Your word is not exactly legitimate here. So if you could kindly produce those emails that you mentioned before so you can uh, prove your point. But of course, you're not going to do that because they don't exist. If they did exist then you would have shown them already. But since they don't, you that makes you a damn liar. You think they're all lying to you. All right. Well, their way, if they get their way, that might be the case. But again, I'm here to peacefully exercise my rights. So I'm seeing how... So why don't you interview people privately? Exactly. No, if they wanted to, but they've already they've already announced that I'm here. So Thank you, Mike. But Thank nobody, nobody was here. <laughs> That's what you should do. Okay. To find out the truth, interview them. No, no. Listen, man. I'm not here. I wasn't. I wasn't here. My, my, my. You're making prejudgment based on what. No, based on what people have told me that's been here. And I hope they do get assistance. But you know, that's you. You don't know everybody's story, sir. I know my story. Yeah, sure. So tell me your good story. No, but okay. So tell. I've heard bad stories here. Tell me your story. Okay. Okay, but again, sometimes people get treated in a certain way, sir. Ah, that ain't true. You um, wouldn't know. You, you you can't you can't see everybody. You don't know how everybody acts here, sir. Yeah. Like I, I want people to get the help they need. I want I want people to be treated with respect when they come here. That's all. I've treated everybody, listen, and, I, and I've treated everybody, I, I like to think I'm treating you with respect, sir, and I would like to think that I'm treating every everybody here that I've treated, talked to, I'm trying to treat with them with respect. But, you know, when it, it's different when you say, hey, everybody, he's recording you. If people want to have a problem with the recording, I said I will gladly, I understand, they're here to, they're here to get services. No, but I'm not, I don't want to be... Yeah, I just want everybody to be treated equally, man. That's all. I want. I just my, my issue is not with the people. My and and that's look. That's your account. That's great. You know, that's that's one person's account. Well, I'm gonna have to cut out a lot of this video because for the next 20 minutes he goes through the same circular argument with the security guards over and over again. So I don't think we really want to see that because we get the point by now. So let's go ahead and skip to the part where, to at least one of the parts where he gives money to somebody. And it becomes a uh, moment reminiscent of a 1989 movie that I will reference in a minute. Many, many minutes later. This is not a prank. Oh, this is a YouTube video? Or? Three. Yeah. You're welcome, ma'am. Three. Let me put my cigarette here. 300. Like I got a broken rib. I'm going to the clinic. 400. And oh my god, five hundred dollars, sir. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, that's what I just oh, said. Oh, my oh, back. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. God. I'm sorry to be hurt you. A little longer than a few minutes later. Today, can you hold this for me? No. I want to bless you today. No. I want to help you. 
No? I just want to help you, man, from my heart. Here, one. Here, two. Two. Three. Hold on, I got three. Four and five. Four and then five. This is to bless you. You guys are together. Or you're... Uh, he's going through some stuff. He's going to help him out. Okay. Sean, that's awfully nice of you. But, but, here's the thing. A couple of charitable acts doesn't exactly make up for a lifetime of being a scumbag. In fact, do you want to know what this reminds me of? Go ahead and roll that clip. Just. And now, folks, it's time for who do you trust? Hubba, hubba, hubba. Money, money, money. Who do you trust? Me? I'm giving away free money. And where is the Batman? <laughs> yes, that was from the 1989 Batman movie with uh, Jack Napier, a.k.a. the Joker, played by Jack Nicholson, was a street thug who turned into the aforementioned Joker, who uh, had a life of thuggery and everything like that just like Sean Paul Reyes. And in the final act of the movie, Joker decided that he was going to be a charitable individual and throw up everybody money. But you know what? He gathered them there for another nefarious purpose. He decided he was going to gas them all. Disguising an act of pure evil with an act of charity. Sean, you are exactly the same way. Only you're not going to gas everybody. You're going to gaslight everybody. Gaslight them into thinking that you are an incredibly generous individual. But you know what? You're nothing more than a showman and a scumbag. That's all you are. All you ever will ever be. You are truly a disgusting person. Well, at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.